All right, guys, happy Thursday. Here with an awesome little workout. It's definitely going to challenge you guys because basically we're going to use this as our warm up going into our working sets. Okay, so here's how it's going to work. Basically, our warm up is we're going to tell you that first 50 round, first 50 or 40, if you're doing the ladies track, um, that first round we're going to use as our warm up today. Okay, so we're going to get right into it as we go. So you're going to do bike work for a 25 minute time cap to complete this. Okay, so men, we're going to do 50, 40, 30, 20, 10 calories on the bike. Now you're going to rest the equivalent amount that it takes you to complete that round. Women, you're doing 40, 32, 24, 16, and 8 for the ladies. Same thing, the time that it takes you to complete the round, you're going to rest the equivalent amount. Now we do want you to push this, but that, like I said, that first round, the 50 or the 40, we want you to kind of use as your warm-up set that's going to roughly take you between three and five minutes, okay? So it's a good way to kind of warm up, get the engine going. And then after you get off that rest and you move through those rounds, you can start to pick up your pace. You never want to go 100% on the first round anyways, especially when it's a 50 cals or 40 cals it'll definitely hurt you in the long run. So this is going to be a longer paced workout, okay? Um, and then slowly picking up and ramping up the speed. Once we start getting to the 20, the 10, or the 16, and the 8, you'll be able to push harder on those rounds, okay? So we're going to really talk about keys of performance on the bike, okay? Biggest thing to do is make sure we set the seats properly. So if you're doing this at home, you want to make sure you set that seat up so that we can get full extension on the leg. A lot of times I'm seeing people in the gym, we're setting that seat too low, and we're net foot never fully extends so you're not getting maximal power in the leg. You want to basically at the bottom of that pedal, not full lockout on the, on the knee, but like a slight bend. So you want the full extension of the leg, that means you're getting full revolution, okay? You're using maximal power through that muscle in the legs. Second thing I see is a lot of times we lean too far forward against the handlebars, we drop our head and we're doing this. It's very hard to breathe because you're closing off your airway. Okay, try to think about keeping your head up, chest tall, so you can bring in a maximal amount of breath and oxygen to your, your body. Okay, that's going to rejuvenate you. Once we're done with our bike, okay, we're going to move on to our, an accessory piece today. It's going to be three rounds for quality. We're going to have a 10 minute running clock, okay, so we're going to move right into it. We're going to be doing 10 Cossack lunges, adding weight to any of these movements if you want. So Cossack lunges is going to be that side to side sideways movement, working those adductors and hips. We're going to do a close grip push up, okay? So mainly making that diamond shape, coming down, touching the chest, and then pushing off. You can add weight on your back, or we can add a band if it's a little easy. Then we're going to do front foot elevated reverse lunges. So we're going to put our foot up on a plate, okay? And then we're going to lunge back. It's going to really create um, maximal power in the hamstrings and the glutes, okay? It's really good for eccentric and working that those, that posterior chain, which a lot of us tend to lack, myself included. So we're going to be working on that. Remember when we do that, our knee needs a track. A lot of times we, what I see by that, and what I mean by that and what I see is that knee has that tendency to cave inwards. You want to try to drive that out over your toes, remember, so we're squeezing the glute, pressing out on that knee so we can drive through. You don't want to have any inward motion going on the inside of your body with the knee. So making sure you're driving that out on the up and on the down, okay? And then we're gonna do ring rows, 10 ring rows or five strict pull-ups. Now for ring rows, some of, the, some of us, you know, who've been doing pull-ups for a long time may look at this and scoff at that movement and say, you know what, ring rows are way too easy. I'd like to challenge you, make it hard, okay? So for the pull-ups, add a wall ball between your feet that you can use for a weight. Wear a vest or you can use the belt that ties weight or for ring rows, go in a deficit. Put your feet up on a box. So now we're at a, a our feet are higher than our shoulders, which is going to make it even harder. Okay. Um, so yeah, three rounds for quality or a 10 minute clock. So really trying to focus on that. For our briefs, guys, we're talking about our scholarship. I mentioned this yesterday. Um, we're trying to reach out to local businesses to give people in our community who necessarily want can't necessarily afford a membership. So give them them the the opportunity to come to our gym and see the benefits that you all uh, are able to work with and that way they can we can reach we're going to try to reach out to local co businesses and also members are able to donate to the scholarship fund if you want and then like I said we can give that gift of fitness for people in our community who need it but not can't necessarily afford it and then the last thing we're going to talk about is our five dollar credit you get five bucks 
to use in the store towards your membership bill of the month if you switch to ACH. So we're gonna give that $5 credit back because that's the savings we make when you switch. It's about $5 per member um, when you switch to ACH. So if you can, that's basically switching from a credit card payment to a bank withdrawal on your membership fee, which saves them, Jim, a lot of money, which then we can turn back into equipment. You guys have heard me talk about you know, going to 24 hour access. We've talked about upgrading bikes and barbells. That's a huge amount of savings that we're able to put back into equipment if we can get you guys to switch. So we'll give you a little bit of a credit up front for doing that and a thank you. So if you guys have questions for on either the scholarship, how you can help or the $5 credit, see me or Corian and we'll help you out on that. Well guys, we'll see you tomorrow, Friday for our brief.